Well, this definitely has that Mount Vernon colonial feel. Yeah, we're actually standing on what was once George Washington's farmland. That is really cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, that'd be the selling point for me to have that historical yeah, piece of property. Yeah, bragging rights. <laughs> the residents who live on former George Washington land are considered neighbors of Mount Vernon, and they get a little special membership at the Mount Vernon estate. Oh, I want that's a special awesome. membership. Yeah. This house was built in 1974, but it's probably hard to tell because they've brought in some of the features of GW's Mount Vernon estate, mm -hmm. including neoclassical, Palladian, and Georgian architecture. When you said GW's estate, is that kind of like the, the term everybody, it's like, hey, that's GW's. Yeah, well, I think we all feel like we know GW pretty well. <laughs> the cool kids talk that way. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and there's a lot of square footage to cover, so you guys should head in. All, all right. right, let's go. Let's do it. There you go. Wow, you're such the gentleman like George Washington. We have a lot in common. <laughs> OK, this is what you think of when you think of a traditional colonial. This is a lovely foyer to walk into. It is. The ornate woodwork. Yeah. The fancy wainscoting. Yes, and then this beautiful curved staircase. Oh, and into a very nice living room. This is traditional, This is kid. traditional. I like the way they went with the mint green, which is probably more of the reflection on the period again. Yeah. So let's oh, check out no. these French doors going to the side porch. Don't you mean the veranda? The veranda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a lovely outdoor area. Yeah, I love a good porch. Here's a little thing that I learned. Do you see the ceiling is light blue? You know why mm -hmm. they do that? It's soothing? Nope. It tricks the bugs. It looks like skies, so it keeps the bugs away. I think you're right, because I don't see any bugs. Yeah, bug-free. There you go. OK, Tina. Oh, a den? A nice den right mm -hmm. off of this formal living room, which right. I like this as an office. They really did a nice job mm -hmm. with wainscoting. And you have these doors to the back. I know, another patio area. Let's check out the kitchen. Okay. I love a kitchen window above the sink. This really is a wow in this home. And it's huge. All right, so you know I have to comment on these cabinets. Yes. All right, with columns on the doors. You know, they're just so GW. They are so G, <laughs> so G dub. So what do you think about the floors? OK, I personally love those floors. Uh, they do say 70s to me. I do like the dark color. Mm -hmm. I would keep them. OK, Ooh. hey, breakfast room. How wonderful to have a table sitting right under a skylight. And the pine tongue and groove ceiling gives a kind of a rustic feel. It does. But you know, I, I'm hearing running water. Well, I see water. There's a good reason for that. Oh. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. I thought I was hearing a water fountain. You were, a giant one going yeah, into a pool. Not a pool. <laughs> Jacuzzi. And a jacuzzi. Nice. <laughs> okay. This is great. And this room has sliding doors, so you can open the doors, let the fresh air in. Right. Or you well, can close them and swim in the winter. Yeah. I want. I this. know. I am so sold. <laughs> I'm sold on this room. Wow. Ooh, it's warm. <laughs> it's nice. Hey, I love how open this is. That is nice. It really opens up the whole floor, doesn't it? Right. The family room. I feel like I've walked into a cottage now. Yeah. Because I think it's the paneling on the walls, yeah. the wainscoting, and I think the fireplace. Yeah. Now, this is a nice room, but wow, what's this what? bonus room? Oh, now this is a surprise space. And you know, this would be my game room. Game my room. Game room. I have yep. to have a building. I have to table. have my game room. Okay, hey. Oh, the formal dining room? Now, this is very formal. So this really has that Mount Vernon feel. Yes. The ornate moldings carry through. Yeah, you know, I love this color, too, and I think it makes those moldings pop more. Oh, it does. Here's something fun. So George Washington loved to dance. Oh, okay. yeah. So in his dining room, after they had dinner, they would simply move the dining room table mm -hmm. and open it up for a dance floor. So they probably push the chairs to the, you right. know, exterior of the room to the chair rail. Right, and so the chairs don't smack up against the wall. Now we know why there's chair rail. When you have your combination dining slash ballroom. Exactly. Good story. <laughs> Let's head upstairs. Oh, OK, so I am drawn completely to the center bedroom. <laughs> yes. But it's a really pretty room. 
Well, Let's bedroom this. one down. Yeah, this, this one. one. Oh, okay, primary suites. Wow, this is such a lovely space. You've got great windows, of yeah. course, but then you have two French doors. Yeah, that go to a, yet another outdoor space to enjoy. It's beautiful and a big fireplace. Oh, I know. Come I mean, on. how many people wouldn't want a lovely fireplace in their bedroom? But you can see some modern touches and updates, like the marble around the fireplace. And I see some other modern touches over here. Oh, this is not a 1974 bathroom. They've updated the double vanity. Lovely clawfoot soaking tub and the shower. It's got that basket weave tile, all updated fixtures. It comes with a TV too. A TV too. And you know, this is so beautiful and spa-like, down to the robes in here. True. Let's look at this bedroom. Oh, oh, this is very nice. You kind of have a mix of the 1770s and the 1970s <laughs> exactly. with the mirrored closet doors. But you have these beautiful valances, mm -hmm. you know, that hark back to George Washington's time, and it just feels fitting. Okay, and a little bathroom. This is nice having a sink here, mm -hmm. right? And so, so it goes into water four bath, closet. shower, toilet. Oh, and we have a sink. Another sink? So. Oh my gosh. It's a Jack and Jill. It's a Jack and Jill. I have to say, yellow is one of my favorite paints for a bedroom. It's very calming. It is. A really pretty room. Okay. I think that's it, Tina. Let's go find Lauren. Okay. Try to guess the price of this beauty. Hey, Lauren. Hey. Hey there, sorry I'm late. I just was taking a little quick dip there in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is a great feature of this home. Isn't it? I think that like an indoor pool could go either way, but this one is really appealing. I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where we're standing right now, this whole patio area. Amazing. This is great. The first time I saw this house, I thought someone needs to have a party here. Oh, oh for sure. Definitely. Okay, so is there an HOA fee? Yes, this community is in a homeowners association and the fee is $600 a month. Okay, that's not bad. bad. Yeah, not too bad for the pool, the tennis courts, basketball, the privacy mm -hmm. of the gated community. Yes. And then the home itself is four bedrooms, three baths. It's 6,300 square feet and it was built in 1974. What do you think? It's a very hard house to um, price, but I'm going to go for 1.3 million. Oh, okay. darn it. That's exactly what I was going to go for. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to come in at 1.35. Okay. 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 The list price on this house is 1.475. 1. 1.475. <laughs> I'm far yeah. off. <laughs> we were both a little off, but I still win. <laughs>